So over the past few years, this water brand has went from an extremely laughable to a viral phenomenon. And with just a few thousand dollars, Mike Cesario is able to launch the company Liquid Death, which is now valued at over $700 million. Former creative director and designer Mike Cesario has worked for big brands like Nestle, Netflix, and Apple. However, after years of working for corporate America, he wanted to test his theory of adding a new spin on branding. Liquid Death takes a unique cynical and humorous approach to its marketing, something quite different from the traditional corporate marketing style. With its retro style packaging and unique mission statement, how did this company pull off a brand launch so successful it's even surpassed that of billion dollar water companies today? Well, the idea of the company started back in 2009 when Mike was at the Vans Warped Tour at Music Festival. He had noticed that a few of the performers on stage had all been drinking Monster Energy drinks during the show. However, as he got a backstage peek of the band, he realized they had all subbed at the Monster in their cans instead for water. And the only reason they promoted Monster on stage was because they were sponsored by Monster. This had Mike thinking about why was it that all the fun and hip brands that we see today being marketed on social media or TV all advertising for unhealthy for products. Mike came up with a new concept to package water in a tall boy aluminum can. However, he knew if he pitched this idea to investors, he would get laughed out of the room. I mean, water in a can after all sounds like a crazy idea. Mike didn't let the skepticism stop him. He knew that if he could just nail the perfect brand of the product, he'd have a shot. The right mixture of funny, edgy, and bold, Something so memorable, people would be willing to share it with their friends on social media. Your brain is so programmed to do the things it's seen a million times before that most of the ideas you come up with, like it's already been done a million times or it's not actually innovative because it makes too much sense. Despite having such a crazy idea, Mike really was determined to give Liquid Death a shot. He created a 3D rendering and design of the can himself and spent a few thousand dollars to launch his own Facebook ad commercial promoting the product. Hi, I'm a professional actor and I'm getting paid to tell you about a revolutionary new product. Liquid Death Mountain Water. Every year, water is responsible for thousands and thousands of deaths. Energy drinks only kill like, what, one or two kids? So please, don't fall for the marketing bullshit. They took some bold risks with their approach to say the least. But with this boldness, the commercial had amassed over 3 million views in a matter of less than 4 months. Their Facebook page had gained nearly 80,000 new followers, which surpassed the brands of pages like Aquafina. The response to the ad was viral. Mike received hundreds of messages asking him for where could they could purchase some of Liquid Death. However, there's just one problem Mike had. His entire ad was made on a whim before they even had a product to sell. He knew that if he could show demand on this product, he could then go pitch this to investors. His whole strategy was a bit genius, bold, and laughable, really. But this whole idea worked. Liquid Death, canned water, ended up receiving a $1.6 million investment in 2019. And within the same month, people were able to purchase cans of Liquid Death through their websites. But why was Liquid Death such a big success? Let's get into a few of the things that really made it so successful. Liquid Death packages their water in aluminum cans, something that is typically associated with things like beer or alcohol. Now the aluminum can serves a couple of benefits, with the first one being that it's supposed to help keep the water inside a little bit colder. The aluminum can also produces less harmful waste for the environment, which has helped them tremendously in winning over the more eco-friendly crowd out there and even landing their first big retail deals with stores like Whole Foods. For every soul sold, Liquid Death pledged to donate $1.80 towards plastic cleanup efforts. The design of their can is nothing faint of heart either. The Ed Hardy styled flaming skull really stands out in retail stores or on social media. The design is both quite eye-popping and mysterious as it's made people wonder what exactly is inside of this can. After all, water is probably one of the least harmful things you can consume. Mike Cesario emphasized the point that brand is more important than product. They understood that in order to appeal to Gen Z and millennials, they needed to take a different approach, an ironic approach of both the sweet and harmless nature of mountain water mixed with an almost dark and deathly side. This provided an almost cool and edgy type association with the brand, which allowed it to become popular with either the younger crowd or even for the suburban moms out there. And with this, this allowed them to branch into other things like selling merchandise. 
merchandise accounted for nearly 10% of their total sales in 2023. I mean, could you imagine if water brands like Arrowhead and Dasani sold merchandise? Mike Cesario emphasizes how they are not a marketing business for a product, but that they are in the entertainment business. This has placed many of their team's efforts on creating attention-grabbing media productions in their studio. Today, Liquid Death is estimated to be valued at over $700 million, and with the fanbase and online community they have built in just a few short years, they have the option of whether they want to continue expanding as a media company or expanding their other flavors of beverages like iced teas. I think one of the things we can take away from Liquid Death's success is that the way consumers look at brands today is definitely different than it was 20 years ago. People will continue to associate what they buy with the message that they see on social media. And as the time spent on smartphones continue to grow larger with each day, that means it's the brands and companies that continue to adapt and appeal to the younger generation that are going to succeed, while the other companies who fail to do so will simply get left behind. With everything changing so fast in the digital world around us, it's important that we stay up to date with the latest changes. Thank you for watching and I appreciate your support.